Hey everyone, welcome to our very first YouTube video. Today I want to introduce to you my fabulous artist Vanessa, also known as VC Face Beauty. As all of you know, we do brows here and that's what we specialize in, but we also do makeup. So today I want to feature her and her skills. Well today we're doing strictly highlighting and contouring with foundation and this is what the look Kelly has. This is what you're doing at the make. moment. Yes. yes. And so we just want to show you the other talents that we have here, the other things that we do. So hopefully you like it and you will follow us and subscribe. So welcome to my naked face. I have no makeup on. Not many people see me like this, but you guys get to so you can see the full look of before and after. I have no eyebrows, no nothing. I do have eyelash extensions, but that's it. Here we go. What I'm about to do is put on Kelly a BB cream as her moisturizer because it's a 10 in one from Stila. So I'm just gonna put this all over Kelly's face. I just really like this stuff because if you ever like forget your moisturizer, this is a good replacement for it. So you can actually use this instead of your foundation sometimes just to even out your skin when you want to have that nice natural look because a lot of times people get confused between natural and neutral. They're two different things. Natural is just basically a tinted moisturizer, mascara, and lip balm and you call it a day. When you do neutral, it's more when you have like the highlighting and it looks quote unquote natural, but it's not, it's far from it. It actually has as much makeup on the face as a smoky eye application would. I usually like to start like in the cheek area just because that's where usually most of the redness is on the face. You can dab it, you can stroke it on. <laughs> mm -hmm. You always want to make sure that it goes all the way to the jawline because in this part of your jawline, this is where it blocks the sun. So this part of your neck will tend to be a little lighter. So I like to bring the foundation down all the way down to the neck. Blending is always key. The key to perfect flawless makeup is always blending. And even though I'm about to apply concealer later on underneath her eyes, I still like to give it a little coverage. I usually don't put any foundation on the eyelids just for the simple fact that I'm trying to remove oil from the eyelids so she doesn't crease later on. So I always leave that alone until I put her primer on or her eyeshadow base primer, I should say, to be more specific. Put it on the lips, make those lips neutral. And we are done applying Kelly's foundation. So this is my face with foundation on. We did the BB cream first and now full face of foundation and now we're moving on to highlighting and contouring. So I'm about to contour Kelly's face with gorgeous bronzer. I like using this bronzer just because it's very neutral. It doesn't have too much orange in it. And when you're contouring the face, you always want to make sure you feel the bottom part of your cheekbone and that is always your guideline and you never really want to pass the iris of your eye. So you start right underneath the cheekbone and you kind of bring it into a slimmer end. Brush it into the hairline so it just looks a little more natural. And now we're gonna go to the edges of the face. Think of it kind of like a number three. It's one, two, three. I only usually like to do the jawline if I'm doing photos or if we're doing an evening look. Because sometimes if you do your jawline during the day, it can look a little unnatural. And as you guys see, her hairline is looking a little bronzy and that's good because when you are out on the sun naturally, this is what naturally tans first is usually your forehead, your nose. And this is what we want to focus. We want to make it look as natural as possible. Go underneath the jawline. Sometimes you can even go a little bit behind the ear. Down the neck.
So like I said before, one, two, three. Okay, so we're about to contour her nose and Kelly already has a pretty perky little nose so there's not much to do in that department but what you want to do when you are contouring is you want to start kind of connecting from the brow and just go along the sides down the nostril that's where you want to go you want to make sure of course that you don't leave these two streaks down the nose also if you tend to have this part the bridge of your nose very long you always want to make sure you stop the contouring with a little of the bronzer at the tip of the nose because then if you just do the two straight lines what it can do is it can just make your long nose look even longer right so you want to just end that there okay so we're gonna highlight underneath kelly's eye this is what we want to do is to add some brightness now when you're highlighting, you have to always remember that that's exactly what you're doing is highlighting. You're not exactly color correcting a dark circle. So this is to bring out the cheekbone. It also brings out your eyes a lot more, makes them brighter, more attention to them. And that's usually the aim of an application. You wanna bring attention to your eyes and make sure your skin looks good. So this is the final look of just my full face done. My favorite part of every day is always this highlight. I love, 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 I'm obsessed with it. This makes me look better. And then this is where we contour. And the contour is really great because it always makes your face look slimmer. So now we are gonna move on to eyes. Okay, so just what I'm doing is creating a nice neutral canvas for the eyeshadow we're about to apply. And really, when we start applying the shadows, it's really gonna just be contouring her bone structure on her eye. And when you are applying the base, you wanna make sure you cover everything, even the inner corners, because sometimes um, I have clients that have inner dark circles even up to this inner corner here. So you wanna make sure you neutralize that. Okay, so now we're gonna do Kelly's brows. We're gonna fill them in as the final step of our highlighting and contouring. So what I like to do is usually line the brow at the bottom. Because this gives you a nice guideline of the shape of your brow and as to where it should begin and as to where it should end. So we're filling the brow in and what you want to do is you want to get the bottom powder that we left here and just move it up because you don't want the brow to look too heavy. Okay, so I am filling in this higher part of her arch or the highest part of her arch I should say. Filling that in, we don't want too much powder and the key to not having to use too much powder is what they call aka our magic stick which is our highlighting stick and you use it right underneath the brow. You do it nice and light, not too heavy. And that will help make the brow look more uniform. And you blend it back and forth like a little windshield wiper. And whatever's left on your brush, I usually like to go over it on the top and clean it up. But do not use the highlighter pencil above your brow. Just use the extra product that's on the brush. Mm -hmm. I have to say that, ladies. So I'm just here filling in still the little sparse areas. So I'm brushing the brows now with some brow gel to set them. And then here there's a couple few little hairs that I'm gonna trim. We usually like to use these nice curved little scissors, makes it for easier trimming. What do you guys think? This is my finished look of contouring, highlighting, and full face foundation by Vanessa VC Face Beauty. My amazing sidekick. If you guys ever want any prom makeup, wedding makeup, any event makeup, she's the girl to go to. <laughs> Did she pass the test? I think so. I'm Hope so. Sure. Maybe I should find someone else. Probably, huh? Just kidding. <laughs> I love her. So we hope you enjoyed our highlighting and contouring video. 
with my fabulous artist Vanessa BC Face Beauty. Make sure to check back with us next week for our fall makeup look and subscribe at Kelly Baker Brows. Bye!